Hi everybody, it's Thrifty Witch. Today I want to share something with you that I've been goofing around with. Um, really, really cold outside, didn't have a lot of stuff to do, and I decided to sit down and work with my tarot cards for a little bit, and I came up with something that is very, very in-depth with tarot cards, especially if you got a lot of time on your hands and you just want to work with your cards and, and, and you know, put more energy into your cards. What I did was I actually came up with something that lets me know what's really, really important right now for tarot, for, no, for me anyway, for tarot cards. Um, I asked a question and the question was, what do I need to know to better my life in this point in time now? And I actually got uh, 10 circles here. So basically you're going to be drawing 10 cards 10 times. Each time you're done with a set of 10 for the Celtic Cross, you're going to draw a line to basically make sure you're keeping track of what you're being laid out. And you're going to write down every single card that comes up in your in your spread over the over the next 10 times of drawing cards and when you're done you put a hash hashy thing out in your card or your circle or do a star to basically help you keep track that you've done this 10 times now i've actually got two more spots to go and so I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So, and I'll explain the stars and stuff that's actually on the uh, the paper. So I'm on my ninth draw. So I'm going to draw out um, ten cards. One, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight. Let's go here. Nine, ten. Okay, so I've got my ten cards. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ten cards and look at them. And basically, with my pen, shift everything to the right because I'm right-handed. So we're going to look at the card. So that's a Six of Pentacles. And I'm going to look on my paper and see if I can find Six of Pentacles on here. Seven, four, three, King, Nine, Just to double check. So there's no six, so six of pentacles. Okay, next card is the King of Swords and King of Swords. Yes, nope, two. King of so there's a king so I've already got listed right here the king of swords so I'm actually going to put a star next to that because it's I've drawn it again okay so I've just finished drawing the rest of my cards the last set of ten And they're sitting here. So, first one is the moon. So, my moon should be, if I have it already, chariot, queen, king, wands, just, all right, so the moon is right there. Uh, high priestess. right there a 
lovers. And good one is right there. This one is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. So there's a another mark there. The Fool. Judgment. I just saw that one right there. Quite a bit of stars there. The Magician. And let's see. Temperance. And I think. Temperance is right there. Holy cow. A devil. And the last card is the Three of Swords. Alright, so, three of, okay, so now we're done, which means this is my last set of ten, so I basically have done this ten times. So now we're going to look at, is it going to focus, there we go, okay, so now we're going to look at where the most, I'm going to actually circle where the most stars are. So right now, apparently temperance is very important. Um, judgment is very important. The devil is very important in this question. And then you can go to secondary stars where, um, so I've got three, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five sets of three. So, uh, seven of swords, three of swords, uh, ace of wands. I've got the king of swords. Queen of Pentacles, and I think that was it. One, two, three, four, five. If that was it, and then the secondaries are basically your ones with your two stars. Um, so what you could do as an option is the ones that have the stars on them. Um, you could grab them all, put them into a pile. Let's say, for example, that this deck right here is actually the all of the cards that have the stars on them. You could shuffle these and actually draw um, draw ten out of these and put them in order. So that way, you're actually doing you're doing your you know your Celtic cross of all the stars that you have. So that way, you can actually do a layout. Or you can actually just focus on the ones that have the most stars for information. So, um, and I would do it this way because I would go from this side to this side. So I would say that temperance would be card number one. Uh, do, 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 and judgment would be card number two and the devil would be card number three so for that aspect now for the three starred ones which are here here and here I would actually say that this is number one seven this is number two this would be number three four 
and number five. So this could actually be a five card layout with the ones with the three stars on them. Um, I've done this quite a bit and I'm really, really impressed with how accurate this is. Now, if you're really, really bored and you want something to do, this is something really cool to try. Um, you could actually, if you've got paper and ink in your printer, you could actually write out all the major arcana and all the minor arcana in order and just go basically go from there and you'd already have the list in front of you and you would basically go ahead and start marking stars on your paper to find out um, what cards are really really important in your life right now so um, it's a really really neat idea it's something I've been goofing around with and it's actually been quite accurate so if you're interested in trying it, give it a try. Um, it, it, like I said, it's great if you just want to sit down with a cup of coffee and just, you know, bullshit around for a little while because you've gotten your chores and shit done. So um, thanks for watching. Anybody has any questions, um, just shoot them to me and I will answer them. Thank you for watching. Blessed be. Um, happy Austria, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.